no doubt, rows and rows of amazing produce is impressive. As growers, it's what we strive for, and it's the goal for each and every crop. But within the vast array of plants at our disposal, there is a select few that do well in more intimate surroundings. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, there's nothing wrong with being intimate. And today's episode is all about container growing. More specifically, my top seven crops to grow in pots and containers this year. You know, originally it was supposed to be four, which quickly grew to five. Finally, I had to cap it at seven. So today, we gotta use our time wisely. First up, we have carrots. As long as your container depth is at least a foot, you can grow most carrot varieties. And not only do they just survive, they thrive. Harvest to thin and stagger your crops all spring and summer and enjoy a near unlimited supply. Next, we've got lettuce. And I mean all kinds of lettuce. In fact, any leafy green is gonna work great in a container setup, but it's the lettuces that really shine, especially the upright romaine types. Look, I've even grown leaf lettuce in a hollowed out cantaloupe. So growing these guys in a container setup is almost too easy. At number three, we have a surprising favorite and that's garlic. I grow hundreds of garlic bulbs every year and the container plants keep up with the ones in the beds, no problem. Short, shallow root systems, garlic really does seem to appreciate the extra drainage and it's one of the easiest container crops you're ever going to cultivate, despite the long growing time of up to nine months. Next up, we've got peas. You'll find that most varieties of peas are climbers with shallow roots. So, as long as they have space and support to grow upwards, they're going to love container life. Direct sower transplant, peas can also take the cold a lot better than most. At number five, we have the world's easiest crop, green onions. Seed these guys heavy for a forest of tastiness or grow the ends from grocery store cuttings just to get started. Green onions come back every year, even in containers. And if left to flower, they're going to attract pollinators like you wouldn't believe. Next, we have one of my favorite crops to grow in containers, and that's strawberries. With shallow root systems and low crawling growth habits, strawberries are just built from the ground up to live in containers. Trust me, being contained won't slow down their production one bit. And finally, we have the number one crop, not only for containers, but really for anything, tomatoes. These guys do absolutely fantastic in container setups, but make no mistake, they do need space. At least a seven gallon pot, preferably a 10 gallon one for all but the smallest varieties. Determinate cherry and grape ones are the best types to grow, but even large ones like this Roma here that need staking are totally on the menu. Container gardening. What a great way to use every piece of available space to grow some food. And for you patio growers, as your only option, it's a pretty darn good one. Now what else is pretty darn good? The next episode of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if garden quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.